Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a good day and if not, maybe this little project will help your day to improve. What you see on your screen right now is a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B. I have one of these collecting dust on my desk and I rather enjoy playing MS-DOS games. So I thought to myself, could I get some MS-DOS games working on this Raspberry Pi Model 3B? And thus was born the Pi-DOS project. I've separated this video into chapters to help you follow the project if you wish. First, we'll cover the basics of getting an operating system installed on your Raspberry Pi. Then we'll look at getting it set up and DOSBox installed. Then I'll cover some tweaks that I made to make the operation a little bit smoother. The first step we'll need to take is installing an operating system on our Raspberry Pi. To do this, we'll install the Raspberry Pi Imager. You can download that from raspberrypi.com slash software. Once you've downloaded and installed the Raspberry Pi Imager, uh, you can run it. It'll look like this. You choose your device here. You look through the list and find yours. Ours is a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B. Choose the operating system. There are many you can choose from, but the one we'll be using is Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit version. Next, you'll want to install your installation media. It's worth noting you'll need a class 10 or better micro SD card that is eight gig capacity or more. From here, you can uh, use some advanced settings to enable SSH, and you can even enable uh, connecting to your wireless SSID uh, automatically on launch. As you can see, I've got these things set up uh, off camera, and I use these settings to go forward. So we're prompted, we're warned that everything's going to be overwritten. Just say yes. And then we let it write the operating system to the SD card. It does take quite some time and you will get a pop-up like this, just warning you that the, the disk needs to be initialized. Just ignore that. Uh, go ahead and close that little, little pop-up that comes up and let it do its thing. It, uh, it takes some time, about 15, 20 minutes, depending on a lot of different factors, but uh, then you'll be well on your way to having Raspberry Pi OS. Our first boot up is going to look a little something like this. Welcome to the Raspberry Pi desktop. Now, fair warning, uh, depending on the hardware you're using, this will take quite some time to do its initial setup. Don't worry, it's not broken. So eventually it will boot into the operating system and you'll be looking at the desktop of your brand new Raspberry Pi OS. The first command that you want to run when you do a fresh install of Linux is sudo apt update and and sudo apt upgrade dash y. So running it this way will update and upgrade the system as required. And the dash y makes it so that it says yes to any of the prompts that come in. I'm just running this through SSH to record it here because uh, my method of recording was broken at this time. So run that command. It takes a while, but eventually you'll boot back to your desktop and you can open up the terminal and we'll start installing DOSBox. So we'll do that by typing sudo apt install DOSBox dash Y. And we'll let that run. So something that you may run into, I definitely did when I tried to run my next command, was the keyboard was not set up properly. I was trying to type a tilde, it just wasn't working. So if you go into mouse and keyboard settings, you can change the localization of the keyboard, set the layout, 
and choose your proper localization and then you'll get those keys working again as you can see it was sent to french canada and that's why my tilde key wasn't working and that's why i wasn't able to type in the next command that i needed to so we fixed that in order to make a directory where you can store your dos games for dosbox to uh, access them you type in mkdir make directory dash p tilde slash dos games and this will make a directory in your home folder called dos games and then we can test launching dosbox now dosbox is working so you could stop here and you would have a raspberry pi that is running dosbox but i wanted to make a couple tweaks first i didn't like having to mount the c drive every time i launch dosbox so if you open up uh, this config file then you search for and find these lines full screen change it to true aspect to true output to surface and window resolution to 800 by 600. I know the video isn't showing all of these changes, but these are the configuration changes that I made uh, just to make it run on full screen at the correct aspect ratio. At the bottom, if you enter this, these three lines uh, under the auto exec part. So you're going to tell it to mount C to that home. Uh, line where you've put your DOSBox folder, and then you won't have to mount the C uh, drive every time. Now that has configured DOSBox itself, but I thought it would be cool if every time I turn my Raspberry Pi on, it just kind of looked like an MS-DOS uh, computer. So if we follow these instructions on the screen we're going to make a directory and put an auto start script in i'll share this all in the video description as well but running these commands makes it so that when you power on the raspberry pi it runs dosbox full screen as you'll see in a minute All right, that's about enough of watching me type slowly. Uh, as I said, all of the instructions will be in the video description. But now we're just booting the Raspberry Pi, just turned it on, and you'll see it goes through all its checks, does the normal boot up sequence. and then boots directly into DOS for you. So if you put DOS games or DOS programs in that DOS games folder, you can now access them directly. It's mounted that C drive for you automatically. It's running full screen with the correct aspect ratio, and it auto launches when you turn the Raspberry Pi on. So overall, a pretty cool project and one that I'm going to have a lot of fun with going forward. So that's the PyDOS project. I'm hopeful that it brought some joy to you. It certainly brought some joy to me. I'm going to record some videos uh, playing classic DOS games that I played in my childhood. Maybe you'll be back to watch some of them. If I could ask a favor, if, if this did make your day any better, or you did enjoy this content, or you, you found some value in it, could you help me out by hitting subscribe, like, share, comment, any of those good things? I'm uh, relatively new to the YouTube game and wouldn't mind growing the audience a little bit with your help. I, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you have a great day.